Hello, my name is Jordan Ford, and um, I will be portraying Cleopatra from Antony. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, followed by Sonnet 29, and then a monologue from Gloucester from Henry VI, Part Three. No more but any woman, and commanded by such passion as the maid that milks and does the meanest chairs. It were for me to throw my scepter at the injurious gods to tell them that this world did equal theirs. Till they had stolen our jewel. Holes but not. Patience is Dottish and impatience does become a dog that's mad, then is it sin to rush into the secret house of death ere death come to us? How oh, women, women look. Our lamp is spent. It's out. Good sirs, take heart. We'll bury him. And then what's brave? What's noble? Let's do it after the high Roman fashion. And make death proud to take us. Come away. This case of that huge spirit now is cold. Oh, women. Women, come, we have no friend. But resolution. And the briefest end. <laughs> when in disgrace with fortune, and men's eyes, I all alone beweep my outcast state, and trouble deaf heaven with my bootless cries, and look upon myself, and curse my fate, wishing me like to one more rich in hope, featured like him, like him with friends possessed, desiring this man's art, and that man's scope with what I most enjoy, content at least. Yet in these thoughts, myself almost despising. Happily I think on thee, and then my state, like to the lark at break of day arising, from sullen earth sings hymns at heaven's gate. For thy sweet love remembered such wealth brings, that then I scorn to change my state with kings. Down, down to hell, and say I sent thee thither! I, that have neither pity, love, nor fear, indeed, tis true, that Henry told me of. For I have often heard my mother say I came into the world with my legs forward. The midwife wondered, and the women cried, Oh, Jesus, bless us, he is born with teeth. And so I was, which 
plainly signified that I should snarl and bite and play the dog. Then, since the heavens have shaped my body so, let hell make crooked my mind to answer it. And this word, love, which graybeards call divine, be not in me. I am myself alone. Clarence, beware, thou keepst me from the light, but I will buzz abroad such prophecies that Edward shall be fearful for his life, and then to purge his fear, all be thy dead. Clarence, thy turn is next, and then the rest. I'll throw thy body in another room. And triumph, Henry, in thy day of doom. <laughs>